Hello and welcome to Rosh's Craft Corner. Thank you for joining me. Um, I wanted to share with you uh, my recent hauls over the last few days, um, which includes the Tonic Craft Kit number 36. Um, I also have the um, items that I was uh, waiting on from Create and Craft. Um, I've also had a delivery from Devoted Crafts and uh, a couple of bits from eBay. Um, so if I start with um, the Tonic Craft Kit, now I'll show you what I've received in the kit. Um, there are so many videos on YouTube at the moment with all these kits, so I won't go through all of it. Um, I haven't even taken them out of the packet yet, but if I just show you what these ones are. This one is um, a glitter drop, and this is the... Um, oh, what's that one? Honey Gold. And it's a really nice um, glittery one. And then you've got the Glitter Accents, which is um, Aztec Gold. So again, it's really, really... I'll have to play around with these. Um, it is quite late, uh, Friday the 9th of October and this is the Glacier Paste and I was trying to look for the name of it earlier um, and I did manage to find it and I think this one is called you can't really see it um, but it's like a gold Glacier Paste um, golden era I think it is so that's that you also get a Nuvo um, Aquashima blush rosette pen um, it's like a rose gold um, tinted colour which is really nice and um, you sort of take the, the green um, plastic ring off to um, activate the actual um, the colour um, so yeah which, this is really pretty as well you then get um, two um, pots of glitter one in festive gold and the other one in ruby red and these are really really sparkly you can see you get three rolls of washi tape and these washi tapes are, um, it's got a more pink tone to them but you can use them all year round, they don't have to specifically be for Christmas. Um, then you've got the Nouveau, uh, sorry, Craft per Perfect card, so that's your glitter card, your satin, oh no, that's your um, weave textured tan, I haven't got all the names of these, but that's your red mirror card, um, that's your um, satin, another satin, that's like an embossed paper, another one and I love 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 this love the embossed texture on it as well um, but they didn't come in an envelope this time round um, so um, the corners of some of them did get a little bit damaged I think on this one yeah as you can see the corners got a little bit damaged um, anyhow so that's your card and finally 
just going to quickly grab the die set as I put them away. So this, this set also came with the binder um, and you get the binder every um, fourth kit that you receive. Um, I'm uh, subscribed to the tonic craft kit which I get every month you can also subscribe um, if you head over to the tonic website I'm not um, affiliated with tonic in any way so I don't you know they don't pay me to review their products I'm just reviewing it based on the fact that I love um, tonic products um, and I do have quite a few of their dies. So this came obviously with the binder and it fits between three and four um, folders. This one, I've got my kit 35, which I didn't actually um, review, but yeah, I've got my kit 35 in there. And my kit 35 actually came with my Tonic Craft kit list. Um, and so the one we're going to be looking at today is craft kit number 36 and this is this one also comes with a list which is really handy and this one is the nordic diamond bauble box and these are just so adorable however i didn't go for a christmas theme i went for a more floral theme um just to kind of you know add a bit of a twist to the um uh the actual gift box that we're making so if i take out the stamps and the dies i'll put the folder to one side So these are these are your dies. Um, so you've got it would have been better better on a darker background actually. Bear with me. Let's use this. Okay. So um, here, let's start with the other one actually. Let's start with this one. So here you've got the outer edge of the actual box, gift box that you'll be making. So you will need to cut out two pieces of this. And then you've got your panels, your um, um, design panels. Um, this is really pretty. This is in the theme of Christmas. Um, there's like a bauble. Um, and you can add your sentiments here, which you've got just here and a couple on this page as well just there um, you've got a couple of tags and with these tags you've got half a circle which you can add into this tag which looks really cute or you can add in so for the oval tag you've got half an oval there as well with all really pretty delicate floral kind of Christmassy pattern on it um, they look like poinsettias, but I don't think that is. Um, however, it's absolutely stunning. And like I said, I have made a, um, a gift box using this set, but I didn't go for a Christmas theme. Um, and I can show you that in a second. We then have the stamp set and you've got quite a few sentiments here. Um, and you've got a couple of snowflakes a star and a heart with the dot effect the um, pin dot effect around that and um, so you've got sentiments like winter merry christmas wishes and cheer and then you've got love uh, peace and joy joy from and your two and then your merry and bright and Merry Little Christmas, which is really, really cute. Very cute. Sorry for the glare. So that is craft kit number 36. And what did I make with it? Well, this is the box that I made. I did have 
the ribbon and I did actually also make a tag to go with it so if I show you the box that I've made now I used quite thick card and um, I wouldn't recommend using thick card uh, possibly maybe um, card weight um, of 216 to 240 maybe nothing thicker than that because otherwise once you've layered your panels um, it does become quite hard um, and obviously the layers um, do make it a lot more sturdier so what happened with mine is as I went to squeeze it open like that obviously it's quite a nice depth in the actual gift box but as I went to do that I actually ripped the edge of it so the chances if you use thick card this is what will end up happening to your cardstock and your gift box so avoid making that mistake and use um, lightweight cardstock um, because I think the workmanship that's gone into the actual die set itself it's exactly it's been made to exact measurements so when you actually assemble the box together you'll find that all the joins and everything else hello Nala hello <laughs> sorry my cat's just jumped up on the white top uh, so you yes so you get obviously all the panel dies um the layering dies and it's just so pretty um and it makes such a lovely gift so as i said like the measurements and everything everything just fits perfectly um and yeah i was really pleased with this box because it you don't have to use it just for christmas so that's the crisp um that's the craft kit number 36 to one side next I have for you um, a couple of bits that I bought from eBay from a wonderful seller who, who combined and reduced the price for me actually um, for the life you love keepsake insert creator die set now I know um, a lot of people have been looking for this die set and some of the um, outlets are selling it for you know 26 30 pounds or so so um, I was able to grab it um, I think it's about 12 pounds um, with I think three pounds postage um, and in this collection take this out I'll remove the acetate so in this actual collection um, there are three different sets and um, if I show you the picture it's a little bit blurry because it just sort of focuses on the one that's in the packaging but then you've got this one which I already have and then you've got this crisscross one which I don't have but these um, make beautiful inserts in your memory books or you can make small journals with them you can make notebooks um, I just think these are really cute you can make mini albums um, baby memory books they're just so adorable and I just think you'll have so much fun with them and they obviously all the kits um, you get your page reinforcers as well which is really really nice um, so you've got it in the circle and more square shape as well and then you've got this floral panel and then you've got your large sentiment that goes on the main page but these these can be used as your mats and layers um, and to create your pages um, so I haven't actually as I said I only received it um, yesterday so I haven't had a play with this one yet um, but I'm, I, I'm sure at some point I'll get round to that. So that's the first one. Then I got this one. Now, although I bought it, um, I realised after that I've actually already got this one. And so I now have two sets, which I don't mind. Um, these ones are quite um, um, uh, 
sought after so um, I'm sure I'll find someone um, who would want that one so this is the um, keepsake bookmaker photos and film strips die set it comes with the film strip the sentiments which you can cut into the Polaroid or your um, uh, your cardstock um, and then where you've got the Polaroid you can actually um, insert the pictures and um, I'll show you another die set where you can actually create um, the tabs um, to go into it which I can show you in there now but these work really um, well with this particular die set um, and if I flip this over so you not only do you get the film strip but you get the insert of the film strip as well which is really good um, and it just looks so cute in um, the memory books as you know additional um, embelli embellishments to go in it so um, I have used these um, unfortunately I well not unfortunately I, I made um, a memory book for uh, an ex-colleague who lost her mum quite suddenly and I used um, some of these sentiments and um, the Polaroid um, to create and add extra embellishments in the actual memory book. I'll try and see if I can find a picture of that um, because I know I posted it on my Instagram but I'll have a look for it. Anyway so that's the um, film strip die set. I'll move on to the next lot of dies. So this is the die set I've been waiting for from Devoted Crafts and I placed the order on the 1st of August and um, I've been chasing them and chasing them eventually in September they got back to me to let me know that there was a couple of die sets I think it was the waterfall die set and the uh, I think it was the film strip die set actually so those were the two items that were not in stock um, or they couldn't get it in stock um, so I said look you know you might as well just refund that and send out whatever um, you do have in stock so um, I waited um, eventually they got in contact with me after several emails to them to say that they had dispatched the item on the 14th of August um, I hadn't received it so um, they honoured um, my purchase by sending out a replacement so I was quite pleased with that um, however I think with the experiences I've had with Devoted Crafts just this year alone I mean I know we've been through Covid but as a frontliner myself um, you know I see um, things and when it comes to deliveries and things you know I you, everyone else is receiving delivery so you know I don't think that was it you know a, a, a reason um I can understand a week or two delay but two months two and a half months that is pushing it a little bit I think anyhow um so yeah so these are the tab dies um and they go really well with obviously like I said the film strip die set um and in your memory books um, Polaroid um, the pull out um, inserts so they go really nicely in that I then got these two from um, Devoted Crafts as well so these are the Sweet Dixie um, this one is the Toy Giraffe and Elephant and this one is the Stitch Teddy um, and these are just so cute and adorable how cute are these they're just so cute um, and I think like where the giraffe has got um, his spots, I think I'll be able to use Nuvo drops on there and even on the um, bear as well. I think that will be quite cool. Um, so although it's, these are one piece sets, this die set um, is one, two, three dies all together. Um, again really really cute and would go really good in memory books baby cards um, for toddlers birthday so that's quite cute I am so sorry for the glare um, it is quite late at night and um, I've got my lights on so 
Right, so they, that's those. I then have um, my craft tool from Create and Craft, and these are the Tonic Studio die sets. Now this is, I've been waiting for this for a while now, but this is the um, internal bascule um, cantilever creator die set. It is so cute and so adorable and it looks like so much fun to play with. Um, I haven't had a chance to play with them. I only received this um, this week. Um, however, it, I think I looked at the measurements on this one and um, I'm pretty sure it was um, oh, let me just try and get this out right. I'm pretty sure I worked out that this needs a um, this needs a uh, a four cutting machine. Um, because this will definitely not fit through your 6x6 and um, so like your Gemini Junior or your Big Shot I don't this definitely won't fit because this is seven and a half inches um, by Oh, just over eight inches so that definitely won't um, fit through your normal um, standard six by six but this is so cute I love the floral design that looks like a bit of a damask um, design going on there and you've got three sentiments um, and this must be the um, closure is that the closure yeah looks like the um, closure um, to the actual cantilever but how cute I mean I missed out on um, designers choice number six which was the cantilever um, gift box and um, so I'm, I'm, I'm really glad I've got this one I'm gonna have a play with it um, over the next few days um, and I'll let you know how I get on so I got that now I saw these and I, I literally just fell in love with these and oh my god how how adorable is this post box so this was the um, tonic um, post box and mailbox die set and um, so this one is your happy mail die set and this one is you've got mail die set the way I would describe it is this is your post box and this is your mailbox, like a vintage mailbox, and that's your traditional post box. Um, anyhow, so I was looking at the size of these guys, and I think this one will definitely fit through your six by six. Um, yeah, both, both both parts will definitely fit through your six by six so this will be quite good um, to make and I will make this um, probably tomorrow evening and I can share that with you all at some point but how cute is this um, but I can tell you in my last um, uh, tonic call I did say about one of the panel insert dies for I think it is kaleidoscope um, and I was thinking whether it would um, fit, but I'll come back and show you that in a little while um, because I have got one to show you. So that's that one. And then you've got this one. I won't open this one, but again, um, it's part of the bundle. And this is um, the You've Got Mail die set. Um, this one's got 33 dies and the other one had 35. And these are just so cute. I cannot wait to make this. This looks absolutely adorable. It's so cute. And even all the panels, it just looks so beautiful. I don't know if you can see the trellis design panel there. Um, very ornate, isn't it? 
with the um, actual design but it's just so cute cannot wait to have a play with this um this is a large um die uh, i think this one will actually fit through your um cutting machine but you'll have to put it sideways because this is um six by four by four by four by one by three but i think you'll be able to put that through if you put it in sideways because you could then obviously the length of it um have a go with it as I said, I haven't opened that one, so please don't quote me on that. Um, right, and the last but not least is the die set that I've been waiting for for the last just over a week and a half now. Um, this is the Mystery Bundle die set. Um, and so this is Wednesday 225. And um, in the kit, I received the round bubble die set. Um, as you can see, this is a one piece die. I haven't taken it out of the packaging as it arrived today. I then got the strip die set, which says Dear Santa. And this is the matte and, la uh, matte and layering one. And um, these are really cute. Um, just in time for Christmas make some Christmas cards then you've got the Rococo Santa's helper um, again very cute and um, this one's a one-piece die yeah and then oh, then I've got this I already have this die set um, because I bought it when it was on offer it was a bundle on a Wednesday I think it was um, and it was the three beautiful bracelets one says just for you um, I think one is best wishes um, I can't remember the other one but there's three and they're all pretty much um, similar design this one's more butterflies I think there's the other two are floral uh, and yeah so it's very cute and this one's got six dies and this one definitely does go through your six by six machine um, because I have definitely tried it and can say that it does yes and then so this is the die set I, I meant when I said so this came in the mystery die bundle and this one is the handcrafted with love kaleidoscope box insert panel set so I was thinking I received another one let me just bring the other one so this is the other one that I received now they actually look different in size or maybe they are the right same size let's have a let's have a look so I haven't had these ones yet and I know there was a, you know, people were searching high and low for the base lid, uh, the base and lid die set. Um, so that's, so that is, which one's that one? Love Kaleidoscope Box Insert Panel. So there's that one. And it's got um, a sentiment and then you've got the Verso dies. One's got the outer die is um, a dotted design on one of them um, and one's a plain one. But these are really cute actually, that's floral, quite geometric there. That's quite nice. Oh, sorry, out shot there. So you've got that one. And let me just open this one so I can show you what this one is as well. So... I was hoping that this die set would fit. Um, okay. I was hoping that this die set would fit uh, the post box, um, the lid of the actual post box. So if I bring that in, I'll show you what I thought was going to fit, but obviously it doesn't. Um, so as you can see, it doesn't actually fit, it's too big. Um, let's take it off and let's try 
yeah, as you can see, it's too, um, the length of it is, it's too long to begin with anyway. So yeah, definitely not going to work. So, so this must be the same size then. So all these must be a bog standard width and it's the height that's different to give it that, um, that additional, um, well, it, it now means that I've got two different lengths in terms of height that I can create for the kaleidoscope boxes. Um, so that's quite good. However, the search continues for the, the search definitely continues for the um, kaleidoscope lid and base die set. Um, I mean, I've seen some ridiculous prices on eBay. I wish, um, I really wish um, Tonic would actually bring out, like they did recently, this week's um, Wednesday die deals were the adorable elephant uh, Rococo die. And then you had, um, um, I think it was the baby pram and... There was something else, but teddy bear, um, the two teddy bears. So, you know, like those were really difficult dies to find as well. But I think if Tonic, if you're going to bring back some of these old dies, please, please, please bring up back the kaleidoscope box um, lid and base die so that we can all start to enjoy it. Um, right. I've been rambling on, I apologise. So I'll move this to one side, I can sort that later. And then the last die set I got within the um, mystery die bundle was the um, Tonic A Little Something gift box die set. Um, now I've had my eye on this for quite some time. This comes with um, 32 dies and it is huge. <laughs> makes a very a nice size gift box um well when i say a nice size gift box you know jewelry um you can even put a few sweets in there like for a rocher or something um it's got the two tags and this one here it says do not open until uh, may 4th but again you could use that for christmas um so you've got your geometric panel, you've got a floral panel, and then you've got these two um, to obviously work along um, side the panels. Um, but what a cute die set. Can't wait to make this one um, and have a little play. Thank you all so much for watching. Um, hopefully... Um, I'll come back and show you some of my makes and um, share any other hauls I've got coming in. Um, thank you so much for um, taking the time to watch this video. If you um, would like to subscribe, please do give me a thumbs up like, which is always appreciated. And uh, I hope you all have a lovely weekend and hope to catch up with you soon. Take care, guys. Bye.